The chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee is trying to get Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito to recuse himself from an upcoming case. Why? Because one of the lawyers involved in the case wrote an op-ed about him in the Wall Street Journal. The case is Moore versus the United States, a 16th Amendment case involving federal taxes. The lawyer is David Rifkin, who interviewed Alito and then wrote an opinion piece in the journal titled, Samuel Alito, the Supreme Court's plain spoken defender. Judiciary Committee Chairman Dick Durbin wants Alito to recuse himself because he considers that to be a conflict of interest. Alito says there is no valid reason for his recusal. Alito wrote, Senator Durbin's request for my recusal is presumably based on the theory that my vote in Moore will be affected in some way by the content of the articles that resulted from the interviews. Uh, what gives you reason to believe that that Wall Street Journal article that was written about him by the attorney could influence his decision? Well, I tell you, that was a puff piece. It was an interview by an attorney to tell the Alito point of view and to try to make the public uh, aware of where he stands politically. And the same attorney is appearing before him in a case. Come on, you know, let's connect the dots. It makes no sense. It's not good for the reputation of the court. Do you have set parameters as to a level of relationship or affiliation a justice can have with someone before they have to recuse themselves? How do you make that more of a concrete line? Well, you can't put in concrete the words appearance of impropriety. Uh, when it comes down to an appearance, the justices and all of members of Congress as well should be sensitive to conflicts of interest that, the, that are apparent to the, pub, to the public at large. Durbin wants the Supreme Court to create a code of ethics for itself, but as he said, it's difficult to create an exact rule for what creates the appearance of conflict or impropriety. Straight from DC, I'm Ray Bogan. Thanks for watching. We know that Americans' trust in media is near an all time low. That is why Straight Arrow News is on a mission to bring you unbiased, fact based reporting. To make sure that you get the journalism that you trust, like and subscribe to Straight Arrow News below. And to catch all of our content, go to our website, straightarrownews.com.